What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is seven steps in how to attract deer to your property. I usually do one video every single year of how to attract deer to your property. It's probably one of the most viewed videos that I have on my channel. I think one has over, almost over 300,000 views, but we're gonna jump right into it. Hopefully keep it shorter than the rest of the videos because they, they tend to get a little long. Hopefully we'll try to keep this under six minutes, that's my goal. Number one, guys, you have to stay off your property. This is a hard one for people to understand because they have the hunting property and they want to enjoy it. So they ride four wheelers and they go hiking and, and I feel like you should be able to enjoy your property, but also you have to keep in mind what I'm referring to when, when I say stay off your property is stay off of it during hunting season. And you're, Dave, that doesn't make sense because we want to hunt. I get it. What I usually do is when it's hunting season, I literally stay off the property unless I'm hunting. And what I tell all my clients is only, or I tell them, don't hunt because you want to. Hunt because it makes sense. What does that mean? Hunt because you have a cold front. Hunt because you have a good wind coming in. Hunt because it's the right time of year. You know, hunt because you have maybe cell cameras and they are sending you a picture of a mature buck that you are trying to hunt and is in daylight. So have a reason to hunt other than just because you want to especially on smaller properties when you get on smaller properties you have to be more careful on those larger properties and yeah you might be able to say hey you know what i'm just going to hunt tomorrow and you can get away with it that way so just be careful with it stay off the property when it's when it's hunting season hunt because there's a reason to hunt number two in this guys is obviously having a quality food source Food plots are super beneficial to your hunting property, not only in attracting deer, but providing quality nutrition. I have hundreds of videos on my channel about food plots, you can look them up. But having a quality food source, what is a quality food source? Well, it's planting the right species of plants that make sense to your property. And if you need help with that, you know, it's general information because I'm not there on your property, but you can drop a comment down below if you're stuck on that and I can provide some information to you on what to plant. But you know, that's following soil samples, following, you know, proper lime applications, fertility levels, planting the right species of plant, planting a, this goes along with it, but planting a right species that lasts the entire hunting season to feed those deer so you don't run out of a food source and they leave, go to your neighbor's property or if your, your neighbors have food plots or whatever. But having those food plots in right locations and the right species of plant will be very beneficial to you. Number three on this list is thick cover. You guys need thick cover on your property. If you have a property, play some b-roll of it, but if you have a property where you can see hundreds of yards through your woods, it's no good. Deer may be spooked through that area. They may run through there. If they're pressured off a neighboring property, they may run through there. You might see some deer in there during the rut or something, a buck chasing a doe or something, but in general, they do not like that park effect, especially mature bucks. So you gotta have some thick cover. You gotta cut in some areas. You gotta do some, uh, you know, thin into the woods, some TSI, cut down some trees, some hack and squirt, some girdling, you know, or something, just to get some more sunlight into that area to hit that sunlight hit the ground to have regrowth you got to have that guys you got to have the thick cover it's one of the most overlooked pieces to land management is managing the timber people don't like to cut the trees they want to leave them and it's a huge downfall to most properties that i go to especially when consulting is it just literally looks like a park effect and it's no good you have to have thick cover next up is soil health kind of goes back to food plots but I want to hammer in on soil health because a lot of guys will plant food plots. They won't get soil samples. The food plot is, lacks nutrition. It lacks tonnage because the poor soil is, the soil is terrible and there's just no nutrition in it to give it to the plants. You guys have to be doing soil samples. You have to add lime, the appropriate amount of lime. You have to add the appropriate amount of fertilizer and you have to be planting the right amount of, the right species of plant. When the soil is healthy, that's typically where you find higher quality bucks out in the Midwest. You know, you get that dark, rich soil. Um, it can be done on, you know, different areas that have poor soil. You just, it takes years to work on it. But the better you can improve the soil health using soil enhancers, um, you know, 
testing yearly on your pH, adding the lime, adding the fertility levels, rotation of crops, you will definitely improve the soil health, which will make your plants more palatable, which in turn will attract more deer. Next up guys is hinge cutting. Hinge cutting can be very beneficial if done in the right area, the right time of year, and the right species. Now, hinge cutting, I believe, is one of them things where it's overdone, okay? People tend to go a little bit extreme with hinge cutting because it's a fun thing to do, it's a fun topic, and it kind of looks cool, you know? It might look like a mess to some people, but it kind of looks cool, and you know, if you're hinge cutting, you might feel good about yourself that you're doing something good. And it can be, it can be very beneficial, but it has to be in the right area, the right species of plant, uh, timber. I like doing maples. Uh, hickory does a little, does well. Elm does hinge cuts a little good, uh, well. Uh, oak trees, small oaks that aren't going to produce anything, or they may be out of shape, or they're not straight. Eventually, be any value to you, but those species do, do well. Uh, maples are they. I love hinge cutting maples. They sprout from the stump and they'll produce a lot of tonnage but hinge cutting is one of them things again it's overdone um, I don't recommend it that often but when I do and placed in the right area it can be beneficial not only for cover but also food value next up on the list is foiler feeding foiler feeding not only your food plots but the browse in your area because you create a giant mineral lick you create a nutrient rich environment so deer live on natural browse okay if we stop planting food plots the deer are going to be perfectly fine they're going to, they survived without us without planting food plots right but the browse in, in the woods woody browse you know green foliage that comes up in the woods is your natural food that deer consume on a daily basis what they live off of they eat four five six seven pounds of it per day we need to have that high quality. That's why we're cutting trees, getting more sunlight down to the ground, doing prescribed fires, uh, brush hogging areas just to create that fresh growth. Browse is the backbone to deer herd, all healthy deer herds. And if we can enhance that with further feeding the browse, you just create a giant nutrient rich environment everywhere a deer walks they're getting major nutrition because you further fed it. You put the minerals there, you put the, the nutrients there in that plant natural browse all around field edges anything that you can get to I have tons of videos on my channel you know spraying with pressure washers it's a huge benefit to uh, the deer herd my old farm in Pennsylvania was 100 acres I literally transformed that property from skinny deer with the rib showing to full-bodied just heavy thick deer um, over the course of like four to five years by doing food plots and for their feeding and everything we took that it was deer to the next level and it can be done but foiler feeding is very beneficial next up is travel corridors i have done this for many years now travel corridors are extremely beneficial and i don't want to necessarily say they attract deer but i'm putting in put them the, putting them in this video because they can define deer movement you you can make these travel corridors and kind of direct where the deer travel and it's not 100 percent but Deer are lazy, right? So they like to travel the path of least resistance, just like we do, you know? If we take the chances of going around the side of a mountain instead of going straight up, we're gonna go around the side of it. And that's kind of how deer are. So if you have, you know, travel corridors placed uh, precisely on your property, you can dictate where these deer move and have stands set up across that. It's very easy to do. I have a lot of videos on the channel, you know, doing that, but you can leaf blow you know the trail out with a backpack leaf blower anything you can do to get down to bare dirt remove any debris that's in the way just make a beautiful little area you know weaving through the woods you know take an existing trails make them better clean them up and you can dictate where these deer move and it's really again i don't want to say it's an attractant but in a way it kind of is because if they're they're clean trails and they're defining movement a little bit it kind of isn't attractive in a way so any questions with these uh with these you know list of attractants that you can do to your property leave, leave a comment down below hopefully they will help you this spring and summer leading into the fall hunting season and i believe i don't know for sure but i think i went over the six minute marks i promise but any questions guys leave a comment down below give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys are new i'll see you on the guy see you on the next video